Hello everybody, welcome to the CCL semi-final, season 52. We've got Devak and his Chaos Dwarves versus World Sitar and his Orcs. And in the booth is... Faimir. Faimir, hello. Hello, can you hear me? I can indeed, hello Faimir. Okay, okay, okay. Well, here we are for the semi-final, and we are also waiting for Calcium, that's why he's uh, also... Ah, oh, there you go. <laughs> Where can we put him here? Anyway, before uh, we keep going for this very important, the most important part of this uh, game, <laughs> which country is dedicated to this game? This game is dedicated to the people of Gambia. Oh. I'm starting to think I'm going to need to find another random country generator. Yeah, this doesn't feel very random, does it? <laughs> it is, or maybe that's exactly what is random, you know? Mm. I mean, there has been a lot of uh, games. It's like, you know, people having the same birthday. <laughs> you know, you only need to have like 30, 40 people. 100% chance of having it. Like that, so. yeah. Hello. How are you doing? Not bad. How are you? Not bad. Nice. Oh. Dream, baby. No, no, I'm good. It's, uh, yeah, a bit tired. Uh, it's a long day. I was up at five o'clock this morning. Uh, had to drive a sort of 250 mile round trip. But apart from that, I'm feeling good. <laughs> so I thought I'll off a glorious day of hard work with some blood bowl. Some real blood bowl, as opposed to that pretend nonsense that we're all playing at the moment. <laughs> Yeah, it's pretty nice, isn't it? A bit of Blood Bowl too. Uh, I don't know what the inducements are. We've got a babe for Devak, uh, and that's all. Um, I don't know. A lot, I don't know a lot about Devak. He's he's a good player by all accounts. It's well, weird. He's he in the semi-final. <laughs> yeah, I mean, he's in the semi-final. He's done some weird players, and he's done right. some really good players. But mostly, he's had a really nice draw. He's like he's diced the pants off people in a few games. <laughs> But he did. He did do so. Do some really nice moves, like some really nice chain pushes and stuff. So like, yeah, you know, it's not as if he's like he's bad or anything. He's done some. Really Obviously, good chain moves. World Sitar is um, great, right? uh, World Sitar is most well known for welching on a game against me. I just couldn't handle playing the Majesty that is Calcium Kaz. So uh, <laughs> no, I, I like World Sitar. He's a good. He's a really good player as well, and he's so uh, tough game. Yeah, I, I think his team's better, even though like there's not that much difference between the team values, right? Devik's only got a babe, um, but he doesn't have a claw. His bulls aren't that good, and uh, yeah, Will's Will Star's team isn't that good actually, right? He's only got block on the uh, on these two black orcs, but he's got two good black orcs and good blitzers. Yeah. Um, with with no speed. claw, it's that's a real problem, isn't it? When you're up going up against. Orcs and dwarves, you need that can opener, really, don't you? You, uh, you know, ideally a couple, but at least one. Yeah, hundred percent. Doesn't even have piling on, never mind claw. So like, he's got a uh, world star's got a jump up, pommer, and you know, yeah, Devak's yeah. got nothing, just some mighty blow. It'll be interesting. That jump up pommer's lovely. A jump up pom is just. It was so good, wasn't it? I, we have to use the term was now, Jim, which is a little bit tragic, isn't it? It was so good. Oh, there we go, look. Devak dicing the pants off a of world sitter. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, interesting as well, because he, what he could have done is he could have moved this... Uh, oh, no, it's done for... Okay, never... Disregard. Yep, he did He did the right thing. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, why is he going to base the ball? Oh, wow. GG. Yeah, I mean, that's it. That's it. Game over. We all know that. Very aggressive. Very aggressive. I'm going to tag this one out as well. But, I mean, he's still got a blitzers that come back. God damn, I love that film, Jim. Rounders. <laughs> Such a good film. <laughs> Such a good film. Yeah, I did, I did enjoy it. Talking about um, poker films, oh, we won't digress too much. Well, actually, I will, because you know what I'm like when I commentate, right? I talk about anything <laughs> yep. except the bloody blood bowl. Um, <laughs> have you seen the Stallone poker film called Shade? No. Oh, my God. Jim, look it up. It's it's bad, right? But it's, <laughs> but it's good bad, if that makes sense. You know, it's Stallone is just chewing up, you know, the time he gets. It, it's... 
it's all about sort of it's, it's a bit like um uh it's like scams and stuff you know but it's it's trust me it's bad but really good you if you like poker you're going to enjoy it you know well i love poker so yeah <laughs> Uh, so this is pretty simple to free people up and do things, but uh, we're just starting with random hits. <laughs> Why not? As you do. Mm. This is the big one here, so you can free him because he's done firm. Yeah. This is this is the big hit. I would have just opened with this to see where I stood. You can only really get a... Yeah, that's right. You can only really get a 1D here, though, can't you? No. Uh, no, I actually, no, no, you can get two. Sorry, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. It's just you really that's... want this guy as well, so I'd, I'd want to know if he was freed before I did anything, whereas you could almost auto-freeing these two, right? Well, you're almost yeah. auto-freeing these two, uh, which gets oh. you the 2D, but I'd want to know if this guy was free as well. Of course, he's got the um, the jump up pom as well, isn't he? Mm. So... Is he busy? Yep. Yeah. Yeah, if he wasn't jump up, he'd be in trouble, but he is jump up. <laughs> well, here comes the assist. Oh wow, he's pushing him this way. Wow, really gambling uh, on the power. To, yeah, to maintain the 2D, I guess. Oh it? yeah, of course, Frenzy. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Okay, yeah. I didn't even notice the first one. Pylon! Pylon, you coward! <laughs> he does okay. pylon. Gets the okay. armor break. Amazing. Great pylon. Well enough. Can you, can you yeah. share the screen, Jim? Oh shit, yeah, sorry, I totally forgot. Yeah, we're watching it off your stream at the moment. <laughs> yeah. Do apologise, there you go. Hello, Steve. Yeah, Shade seems interesting. I haven't seen Tulsa King either. That's, that's people say, is amusing, don't they? Yeah, I haven't. I'm, I, I need to watch that. I, you know, I'm, like most 80s kids, I'm a bit of a sucker for a bit of Stallone, you know, so. Mm. Uh, Obviously, nothing can top his uh, starring role in Cobra, you know, um, <laughs> quite possibly the greatest film ever in the history of films. Um, <laughs> if, Without if, any if, doubt. I even have the Commodore 64 video game of Cobra. <laughs> <laughs> oh, how difficult was that back in the day, Cobra the game? It was, honestly, it was merciless. All Man, these kids today don't know they're like, born. Video games honestly, were so hard. They were, like, uh, every game was so hard, wasn't it? Yeah, yeah. To this day, Defender sends a shit chill down my spine, you know? <laughs> and I guess it's because they, they all came from the, the arcades, didn't they? Where they were just like, yeah. they, they hit that wall so that you'd lose all your coins. So yeah. they, they just they just followed that. Whereas now, obviously, it's just infinite respawn points and everything. So you can't fail ever in video games now. But in the old the old days, the, the design philosophy was you couldn't succeed. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Fucking millennials. <laughs> <laughs> oh come on there were a lot of easy games we only remember the famous ones you know but even nowadays there are very difficult games I challenge anyone here that thinks this is a pro old fashioned player to get the five cells in death cells which I have done which I have done that's why I'm glad yeah. I win the challenge glad yeah. <laughs> death cells is maximum difficulty I unlocked it a while a long time ago well, it cost me like 400 hours or 300 hours of uh, play, gameplay. <laughs> Honestly. Anyway, was this is going something going on here in the game? Yeah, he, he's just ran back. I think Devic's thinking. Uh, it's not obvious what to do, is it? This stun impacts him. He's, he had some good pressure, but uh, I think World Sitar reacted in the right way of running the fuck away. And now do you try yeah. and like what block him, blitz him? Get round or do you withdraw and try and get him back up? See what happens. Just goes to show that um basing in isn't such a good idea. He literally gifted a two D there. Um so that speaks volumes about Divac as a coach really, doesn't it? You know the fact that he couldn't resist the base. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> it's all about the base. That's the thing, isn't it? Yeah, like basing people just give somebody a free assist. Like, okay, it dictates yeah. where they blitz, but they're quite happy with blitzing your your block guard bull centaur with a pom. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Is is yeah. Especially if they also have a juggernaut jump up and all that. Oh, here we go, trying to free the bull. Mm. 
That's what you get I for not building I mean, your balls properly, you basic, giant bellend. <laughs> very basic chorf team. I mean, lots of mighty blow, lots of guard, but... One of the bulls is just new. And without claw, playing the basic game versus orcs, you're gonna lose. Well, in theory, you should lose because they have yep. more strength and the same guard or even more. I'm sure there's a Reddit post somewhere about targeting hobgoblins, you know, obviously that hasn't happened yet. Just saying. It will happen, don't worry. The, the orcs, the, the, their time will come. He's moved seven so you can get right up here and totally safe. Ooh, okay, well not so much now, that's interesting. If he doesn't follow here, the other one can come through into the space. There we go, that's interesting. Yeah. That puts the cat amongst the, the pigeons. The old one us deus. Yeah. Yeah, Kobax, he's had a pretty weak draw, honestly. He's like, you know, no offense to him. He's had he's had some he's I think he's had two dicings where he just he just diced the pants of his opponent. Didn't not that he played badly or anything, you know, not not slating him for this, but he had two games where he just diced the pants of his opponents. And then uh and he's kinda of got lucky in, you know, just not facing monster two K Nurgle teams or whatever. But this is good good play, isn't it? Like it's good play. This is good play. And obviously he's had a bit of luck making the Kaz. Hasn't got anything removed himself, so he's he's had a bit of luck in this drive as well. But this is good play. I, I, I want to really want to put him there. I'd really want to put this guy here. I think that yes. GFI yep. helps a lot. Yeah. I think now there might be just enough for uh, uh, World Sedat to blitz this guy and reform around here somewhere. When I think of Divac, I think of... Um, uh, Zack Ryder, you know, even Zack Ryder won the Intercontinental title once, um, but it was more of a pity title. Um, so I think of Divac's run a bit like that, you know, a pity <laughs> run, really. So, <laughs> what the hell? <laughs> Can you for God's sake? <laughs> no punches sorry, pulled from Carson. Yeah, yeah. Sorry, um, I should say I'm I'm sleep de deprived at the moment. Um, you can't tell. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Jesus, that, that actually came out of nowhere. <laughs> you know, the guy has made a good turn, but it's like a pity turn from a pity coach. <laughs> yeah. Well, obviously, I'm just joking. I didn't mean any of that, but I do blame bad Russian actors. <laughs> That's what happens when we have bad actors from foreign agents <laughs> yeah. leaving, leaving clown emojis on, on Discord posts yes, to destabilize. Yes, yes. And there is going to be a lot joking. of them. There is going to be a lot of them at the end of the month in York, where it's going to be Nick Kong the 31st of March and Jim Kong the 1st of April. What a joke! <laughs> it's going to be. And amazing we will be there. Guys. At least I'm going to be there, and Jimmy is going to be there, and other I people know. are going to be there. I can't go. Oh. I've already booked that weekend, and I'm gutted. And that's pretty brutal, isn't it? Get down, you nasty chore. Mm. It's, it's still a, it's, it's a rookie. Yes, yeah, the least bad one that he could have had, like to die. Yeah, right? oh, yeah, oh, yeah, yeah. Is... yeah. Oh, he's gone to the side. Interesting, interesting. Ooh. Well, he's got to deal with that frenzy hobo, hasn't he? Hmm. Probably gonna. Uh, he's, he's got to stand firm here to be the cage corner. Uh, two yeah. stand firms to be the cage corners. Yeah. So he should be all right. <laughs> Can he? Yeah. Yeah, he's got he's got just about oh. enough. Ah, uh, Leet is a well known a well known foreign agent. Outrageous. I am literally a foreign agent by all the standards in the UK. <laughs> yeah. I mean there's a lot of foreign agents to be fair, <laughs> when you think about yes, it. Yes, yes, and then Jeep Com is gonna be, you know, the big uh conjunction, a Scuro Mezzo coming from the USA. Mm. Uh, I'm so Nick gutted. Coming honestly. from Australia, mm. which Australia is all he calls uh, Rick's basement. <laughs> it's probably the best Twitch Prime I've ever spent on Twitch to get Art's clown emoji because it's just so good. <laughs> <laughs> it's incredible, yeah. <laughs> Might get you banned from some channels, but uh, <laughs> it's very funny. <laughs> I don't even know what I did to Mr. Page's channel. To get banned obviously other than calling them a giant floating testicle you know um i, I don't really know what i've done if i'm honest jim 
Are you banned from the Mr. Page channel? Yeah, of course I am. <laughs> <laughs> Obviously, ah, didn't I like the flowing testicle, did he? <laughs> I am not. Oh man! Oh my god! I can't wait to see Schooner and see if he's like actually like Hobbit sized or if he is like five foot seven or whatever. <laughs> oh my god! We are gonna have some adventure through the Shire of York, the Schooner Shatter, me and you. We can make a fellowship, fellowship of the fat. <laughs> I am included there. I am included there by BMI index. Uh, I am a morbid obese, surprisingly <laughs> enough. So I can get that new drug that makes you lose weight if I want it. Steve, yeah. Um, I've actually still got the screenshot of that somewhere where one of uh, Mr. Page's chat literally accused me of abusing disabled people. Um, not, not, not like within chat, within a chat context, of course, you know, I don't go out and sort of kick people in wheelchairs, um, but cause that would be really bad. Um, but <laughs> stop talking, Calcio. Um, <laughs> there you go, Calcio, and this is how you get bad from channels all over the world. <laughs> I'm so tired. <laughs> maybe, maybe that was why. Maybe it's because you didn't. They thought, you know, you're not equal opportunities at beating people up. <laughs> yeah, yeah. The, the irony is, the irony is, Jim, you were around the time when that idiot Lizvis was oh, yeah. attacking um, people with Down syndrome in Fumble. You know, he thought it was hilarious to make all kinds of meme teams mocking them. And it was disgusting and mm. along with you because you were a big voice against it um you know we we really went to bat against his disgusting behavior and and i'm thinking hang on a minute and now i apparently abuse disabled groups you know anyway to be fair to page page did i i i, I was really upset you know i'm I, I was really angry about it. Uh, you know, call me a crap coach, attack me personally, you know, but that way over the line. And to be fair to Paige, he did shut it down. Still banned me, though. <laughs> <laughs> you know the first time that someone of the members of uh, Paige chat convinced him of things because he was also convinced that the store was a racist. Oh, yeah. So no, no, yeah, no. maybe, you know, the foreign agents are not here and are in Mr. Page's uh, thing. Because one of the last few people in the world I can think of as a racist uh, neo-Nazi is a store. <laughs> power up went in. Big yeah. power up yeah. Big power up there. It was a big loss though, wasn't it? I think that was a good good decision to power up Yeah, Because yeah. he's already like, he's got turned around a bit, hasn't he? This guy's... Um, you know, picked off there. He's got black orcs on normal blockers, so like he hasn't. He's down players, and he's he's kind of turned the corner. So I think it makes sense to have all this, but it's going to be tricky. It's going to be turning into a tricky drive for World Sitar. Yeah, yeah. Divac's maintaining the uh, the dice of his run. Uh, hey, at the end of the day, you need to be good and you need to be lucky to win Chalice, don't you? Yeah, absolutely. You can't you can't do it without oh, both. Mm -hmm. We have some uh, heavy hit here in the first time chat. <laughs> Can we, as a tradition of this uh, channel, you know, people remain silent for years and when they speak for the first time, it's to drop a kick to the face to the one on the ground. Oh. <laughs> wow. wow. Coward girl. Um uh, yeah, I'm not going there, obviously. Mr. Page is um, you know, one of the foundations of our wonderful community um yeah and he's totally he's totally fine at blood ball you know like he's totally fine qualifies for right, this regularly you know has a like he knows how to play blood ball and he knows how to play the system of blood ball the ccl and all that which is a a really useful skill if you want to qualify yeah. you know and people blame all oh, the it is a mr page starting the season with a club team blah blah blah, blah. <laughs> like yeah that if you want to create a monster chaos team to have any chance, you have to do things like that. Yeah, yeah. Start when everybody's fresh, so you don't get at the risk of uh, being, you know, 500 TV down against other uh, batch team. Yep. And I don't know about you guys, but whenever I do pop into his stream and I see all those emojis bouncing around, I feel like my life is enhanced by it, you know? <laughs> I, I feel complete. <laughs> He creates a product for his audience and he's very good at it. 
And I say this is without any sarcasm or that is one actual few streamers that earns his uh, living from a uh, streaming blood bowl. Fuck's sake, Kelsey. It's good with Calcium is here because then I become the moderate one, you know. The most <laughs> yeah. advice of reason. Yeah. I'm not on one. I'm not on one, honestly. I'm not on one. Yeah. That was you the know, best thing like, about the fucking five idiots that Calcium was the <laughs> Calcium was the moderate one when we started. <laughs> yeah, I know. When I Calcium know. Was, was the crazy. voice of reason, Jesus Christ. <laughs> I, I, I will uh, I, I will make... have to do a guest appearance at um, Five Idiots because um, although I couldn't, com well, I, to be honest, I just had um, PC burnout, burnout, not just Blood Bowl burnout. I was just burnt out with it all um, towards the end of last year. I just needed a break. Yeah, and, yeah. Sometimes uh, purple chest can be really annoying. You know, I hundred percent understand that. <laughs> oh, oh, he killed him. <laughs> Boom. Kill him. Dead. 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 <laughs> Wow. This is, this oh, is actually was... a fun game that we're paying no attention to, isn't it? It's, it's a you know... great game, yeah. Apple wow, comes in that and was... fails. Keeping the supper fun alive. <laughs> I, don't, I don't think that was a good app. I mean, it's, it's not that it's such a good piece. No, it's not great, is it? He's already kicked. It was... Um, so it's it just terrible. essentially to wrestle Hobgoblin, yeah. uh, but I guess he just thinks the number's right, he's got two reserves. Um, but yeah, it's, it wasn't, it was, it was only 50-50 again back for the game. But you know, maybe he thinks he's, he can stop this drive, but I don't think so. Uh, not anymore. <laughs> yeah, it actually doesn't help, it doesn't help on the drive anyway, does it? So Yeah, I don't know, it's, and these balls are left behind now, you can get them back this turn, especially on a POW. The BBC um, has more chance of stopping Gary Lineker right now. <laughs> <laughs> topical. Very topical. Rest, I wonder if the rest of the world are looking on going, what? <laughs> yeah, I think they probably are, yeah. What's actually <laughs> happening right now? <laughs> I don't think the rest of the world uh, knows what happened with Gary Lineker, you know? Just... No, yeah, true. Stand firm there. Um... Has he got a chain? Has he got a chain? Oh no, so. you know, he needs to fill um, just above the two black orcs to the left. He needs to fill that square there. We need yeah, to get the chain on. Be, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. He can't really do it. No. But I think it's probably better to like this guy multiple GFIs blitzers and then this guy gets in here and then you know tries to do something. I don't know. Champ, champ in the house. Champ, champ strats. Let's okay. go, champ. <laughs> Who's got the on paper stronger team? Um, it's World Sitar, but not by that much. Uh, Devok only had a babe as the inducement. Um, World Sitar's got good Black Orcs, only a couple of good Black Orcs and good Blitzers. Um, Devok's got about four good uh, blockers and not great bulls. And a pretty decent ball carrier, but the ball carrier is on the bench right now. Super interesting. Gambia, uh, Dimmy. Gambia, again. Again, yeah. Who's drive? It is, it is uh, World Stars drive the Orcs. World Stars the Orcs, Devix the Chorfs. Okay, so he goes for that one to try and free up both guys to swing them back around the front. I'm not sure that that is good. But it could have been thinking about the reroll. I think if you do that blitz, you push him from him from here. So at least from you're the left, from freedom. the left, yeah. so you push him off of the. Yeah. Mm. Oh, it's because he wanted to assist with this hit as well. Okay, well that makes sense. He's given up on the drive then here, isn't he? he? Just. I think if he pals it, it's all right, and it does maximize blocks, right? By by hitting there, if you could pal and get these two out. Yeah. But yeah, it's looking like giving up on the drive now. Yeah. And, uh, yeah, it'd be cool if you'd be cool if you want to come back for a, 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 like you know occasionally we'll 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 have to work out like guest how we how we do guest appearances. But it'd be cool. Yeah, I'll give I'll give you plenty of notice, Jim, and we'll we'll sort something out. Um, I I would very much like to do that because 
you know, it, as I say, it was just bad time for me with with the Blood Bowl burnout, really. I just, it was like um, the SFL as well. I was actually top of my league when I pulled out of the SFL because I just literally could not face playing another game of Blood Bowl. It was that bad. So, oh. and I, I, I said the other day, didn't I? I still ended up second in the division. Oh, there's another death. <laughs> huge, huge yeah. death. Huge. And now the power apple on this guy looks like a mistake from World Sitar as he has a f four skill Black Orc dead and yeah. Ducky is over the moon. <laughs> yeah. Captain Hindsight just kicked World Sitar square in the nuts. <laughs> yeah. Well, if I like a brew, I'm having one right now. The extra one, the one without sugar, you know, keeping things low in calories. But you were very close, Arkanlas, with the air brew to make good noodles. <laughs> So, so the real winner in this game is already Ducky. <laughs> Looking always. strong, yeah. Looking strong. Yeah, we've 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 got what we've got a dead chaff, a miss next hobo, and a dead black oak. So yeah, both apples gone on turn five. So yeah, this is looking pretty turn good five. for Ducky. Yeah. Indeed, malicious. Indeed, indeed, indeed. And and you know this guy is going to be relevant for the rest of the drive now. So like you know it may well have been a good power apple. It's just that's the risk you 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 run, isn't it? Yeah, I, I had no problem with the power apple. Um, you know, it's just hey, how many times have we done something in Blood Bowl and then it's bitten you in the ass? You know, so exactly, yeah. every single time since uh, you launched the game, that's <laughs> the beginning. <laughs> Oh, that's the worst thing you can do, launch the game. I'm a little bit like, um, I'm like Schroding Schrodinger. Is it Schrodinger or Schro Schrodinger? Like, you know, like Schrodinger's cat. Um, I'm like Schrodinger's Blood Bowl 3. <laughs> I, I really hate the game, but I'm having so much fun running over people with a death roller. It's insane. <laughs> I love it so much. <laughs> Get rolled over, you prick. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god i got oh, so i gotta do it i got a sneaky git death roller um i've got about 600k in the bank so i'm taking a bribe every game and i am causing carnage with just the death roller it's so much fun <laughs> glorious i keep it's... trying to snipe i keep trying to snipe anarian actually um but i keep missing him <laughs> It's interesting because obviously you want to just put both of these guys downfield, but then yeah. if you do, he's going to come back with his bulls and he's going to, you know, he might force you in and get a two turn chance. So, like, he, he does really want to target the bulls if he can and, and try and secure, you know, a screen here or whatever so that he can, uh, he can keep him off him, get a bit of breathing room to stall till turn eight. Like, he has to stall, he has to stall till turn eight, basically. I think I think you screen. I think you you got a really good point. I think you screen around the LOS here, don't you? You know, just just contain those bull centaurs, yes. especially where they haven't got break tackle. You know, um, you, you just get multiple bases on them. Yeah, contain the bulls. Bull containment, very important. Bull support. <laughs> You don't want those bulls deep in your end zone, Jim. <laughs> oh, oh, no, you don't want You never want a bull sent out on your end zone. <laughs> One of my favourite ever team names. Um, I used to run with it on the PS4 for multiple championship seasons was Bulls Deep in Uranus. Obviously, you know, uh, a reference to my science fiction proclivities. <laughs> <laughs> yes, of course. Oh, man. Remember the remember oh, no. the team fantastic ones prepare your anus. Chakrasi names. Oh yeah. It was slan, you see, because the slan are aliens, so it was prepare your anus yeah. because obviously uh, <laughs> that's that's where the slan were going to, obviously. Oh my god. <laughs> Yeah, all right, squirrel, dude. You know, like, it's the only time I could make a playoff, for fuck's sake. <laughs> <laughs> actually, hey, I made the quarters of a CCL on the PC one season when I actually decided to play it. So. There you go. 
So yeah, this is pretty good. Like, you know, can he, can he try and get this ball down? Maybe, but then he probably have enough to get back and sort it out. But I think you've got to I think you've got to just like one into one uphill there, maybe, and then blitz with him. I guess you could bring this guy around as well. One, two, three, four. So you could two into one. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Bring, maybe bring this guy around two into one, and then blitz with the ball, and then come up and then like try and screen him as best you can. Yeah. Oh, Dimmy. Oh, my God. You mean the season I qualified with Norse for, with a 0 0 1? <laughs> and then I said, True professional. <laughs> and then I fell into like a 2000 kill team. <laughs> <laughs> Actually, it was a really good, it was a fun game of Blood Bowl. Um, and uh, the, the guy on the Xbox, we just chatted through the whole game because I knew I was going to die. I said, Look, do you want to mic up and just have some fun? And it was great. <laughs> yeah, true Blood Bowl, isn't it? You know, that's that's how Blood Bowl should be played. But, you know, fucking nerds ruining it. Beers and <laughs> Ooh, oh, I've got to get to 70%. Oh, look at my fucking dope math. Oh, I'm so fucking brilliant. Shut up. No one cares. <laughs> Honestly. <laughs> That being said, I'm uh, like 48th on the Blood Bowl free list at the moment. With um, my team is affectionately Jim is affectionately named Unearthed DP 2020. Glorious. So uh... <laughs> <laughs> glorious! All that time, yeah, campaigning, yeah. years of lobbying, <laughs> backhanders to Tories, you know, <laughs> bad Russian actors. We got there in the end, Jim. <laughs> <laughs> Finally, the dirty plays are back on. <laughs> oh, I hate this from him. I guess he got to yeah. make a mighty blow hit, but and I guess it means he, he gets the he gets the uh, what's it called the hobo back as well, maybe. But like if he powered, but not back that far. I think much preferred my my play of uh, of the hobo punches and then the bull blitzers. Get to here. Well, it's a bold strategy, Cotton, putting him right ne next to the sideline so he can get closed down next turn. Oh, there we go. Yeah. It's, We're in little glimpse of the future, this, isn't it? Bulls that have no break tackle. Oh, hello. Painful, isn't it? Hello, Easy. Mr. Chest. Sorry to be late, Jim. My mother required 45 minutes of shouting at me about how phones don't work. <laughs> no problem. Hello. <clears throat> It turned out it was user error in the end, you which don't I definitely say. couldn't have predicted at the start. <laughs> yes, that's funny. I have the same kind of experiences with my dad, and yeah, it's <laughs> it's it, somehow with that it's always user user error as well. <laughs> I was with a gas engineer earlier today who spent, I was auditing him, and he spent 20 minutes looking for his phone that he was fran getting frantic about because he thought he lost it, and then decided the phone it used in his personal phone and it was in his pocket. Now, this is a guy, this is a guy that ensures gas appliances are safe. <laughs> Perfect. I don't see any problem with that. <laughs> Righty then. <laughs> Well, Angelas, uh, Dim is taking to UKTC, he's taking a uh, PC, uh, Satterfield, and uh, who else? Well, Satterfield is transport, uh... taking me and Dimmy up um, with Skuro, I think, which is going to be an interesting car. Um, <laughs> fear for its suspension, but we may get there. Um, <laughs> but the actual team Dimmy's playing with is me, Hancock, Necronome, and Dimmy. I'll break up the dream team. No, oh, exactly. The street stream dream dream <laughs> the Twitch, Twitch dream, dream stream team. dream team yeah yeah that's yeah. it yeah. Yeah. they, they missed the trick there. there Jim they missed the trick should have been the Studman Dubros just saying oh glorious <laughs> <laughs> slow is he gonna yeah yeah okay blitz him and then double base 
Oh, yeah. But he can't get around, can he? He's got to go quite. Old. He's got to double G if I to to properly like double base. Him. Oh yeah, because it doesn't do anything, right? You can, you can. Oh no, he's got stand firm. Okay. He's God, stand, stand firm, firm. Yeah, it's and a nice little double guard in it. So yeah, he's got stand firm. Yeah, it's a one die to then have to four plus off still. Yeah. Horrible, isn't it? Yeah, I mean, if he didn't have, if he didn't have the stand firm, um, it'd be a bit shit. But he does have stand firm, so it's good. <laughs> Yeah, he should have done something better with a wrestle. Like the, the rattle, they're just going over here. Does nothing like right? yeah, it. Bad news for Chorf enthusiasts. My prediction for Blood Bowl Three is that they're quite late on in what races we have any chance of getting hold of. Um, due as they are an overhaul um, by Games Workshop at some point in the next year or two. Yeah, and you can see Cyanide sort of avoiding the ones they think might be reworked. Yeah, oh. on the other hand, getting them in as soon as they are would be really good, wouldn't it? So It'd be great, but yeah. I just think they're going to prioritise other ones, Jim. Yeah, I mean, I do too, because they're idiots. <laughs> <laughs> There's Very another one, rest. another miss next. More more gloriousness for Ducky, uh, whoever wins. Uh, well, I mean, yeah. Ducky getting a bigger favourite by the minute here <laughs> for the title. Oh, did he say that, Raven? I didn't know if he'd confirmed that or not. Which is kind of stupid, right? Because they should have, like, what they should do is they should get a game workshop and they should say, right, what are you doing next? And then time, time that to come out with a tabletop and get a bit of hype, couldn't they? But Yeah. <clears throat> Asking too much, isn't it? Yeah, it's. I mean, it's it's the obvious thing to do, and hence it won't be done, Jim. Yeah. <laughs> well, you can see how both Games Workshop and Cyanide would benefit from a simultaneous release of a new race, or you know, Cyanide backing them up by perhaps releasing it two or three months after the new race. But yeah, such synergy requires coordination and, and efficiency and uh, intelligence. <laughs> <laughs> well, I don't know. I don't know about you guys, but I'm just going to sit back, do nothing, show total apathy, all right, and watch Blood Bowl Three repair itself. But that's what Space said, so you know, game on. Yeah, repair all. <laughs> 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 I mean, Games Workshop don't have to trust Cyanide, do they? They could just say. Uh... Can I just say, right, yeah. that moment where PC just sort of did a metaphorical pe face palm, right? <laughs> It was like a nuclear face palm, wasn't it? Your face PC. It was just glorious, honestly. It was so funny. Yes, like... unfortunately, I, I wasn't very professionally neutral. Uh, I tried. <laughs> so good. <laughs> there are limits. <laughs> <laughs> it was great. Oh, dear. Only so much a man can bear. Um, <laughs> but I, I, look, I do think there's a point there. This game is quite interesting, but underneath that, on the Blood Bowl 3, it's not utterly terrible right now there's a, so much wrong with it that you feel sort of awful for saying that but it and if i believed that in six months they really were going to put the work in and give us all the stuff in the roadmap and more then in six months it might sort of be all right but you've sold me a game that might sort of be all right in six months if you change the habits of the last three years yeah that's just hard to believe isn't it i think more than three years i don't know if yeah. anyone can remember it a success from Cyanide. <laughs> well, I'm, I'm taking it that this team is a new team because they don't seem to have anything of the knowledge of the last team. So I'm, I'm not well, giving them any credit maybe. or any, any no. badness from the. Past I'm not saying I've got any inside knowledge here, but maybe you know the upper management is the same, and maybe the team yeah. don't matter so much. Yeah, maybe it is. Mm. Perhaps if you're led by a dickhead, it doesn't matter how much you're not, does it? Yeah. 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 No, Again, right, all this negativity, boys. I personally love Championship Carp Cyclist, all right, from Cyanide. <laughs> Honestly, I think it's the best game ever. <laughs> I do I do sometimes go to bed worrying that maybe I am just being manipulated. <laughs> Perhaps I am part of the downfall of the West. Oh, I don't even know where that came from. I'm so tired. <laughs> It's interesting, oh, isn't it? He could, he could blitz this guy. I mean, he, he's going to blitz this guy, I think. I think he has to blitz this guy. 
with his pommer and then he can either palm and then sideline cage or he can not palm and get three people down and make a cage or he could just score as well but I think I think you start with by by blitzing this ball right I think you definitely just do that blitz and see what happens I feel like I haven't quite given this game as much attention in the last couple of turns that I should have, mainly because I'm going into a bit of a coma. Um, but I, I do think that um, World Sitar could have done a slightly better job of not allowing these ball centaurs to push, or one of them to push like this. I think these ball centaurs are so terrible, I think they could have been controlled better, yes. Um, I... I don't I hate that it is a little risky, but it gives you some vague chance of the stall. Yeah. Although yeah. I'm still I'm not entirely sure you really need to. No, that's the thing. Like obviously he's gonna stall there because if you weren't gonna, you, you could just push. Yeah, here. you wouldn't risk that if you weren't gonna stall. Yeah, yeah so it's definitely. Yeah, you peasants underestimating the power of Juan D. <laughs> mm. No, I mean it was fine. It was two into one. It was fine. It just. If you're going to bang it in, you probably just don't bother, that's all, because it's, it's that slight risk that why take it? Yeah. I mean, he could have just pushed him this way anyway, right? And like, I guess yeah. if he gets another push that he's in the way there, it's a bit tricky. But then you then you just score, right? But if you pow, then you could then he could have put him here, and, uh, and he'd be pretty in pretty good spots. For... I mean, frankly, if I was scoring, Jim, I would have served the ball. Yes. Just for shits and giggles. Um, yes. That's and also, harder, though. No, I don't like that because then then you're doing the then you're doing the one day, right? Yeah, it's two into one, mm. but it looks all right to me. Um, but even now, it's only a four plus to free the ball. I mean, it's not like it's been nailed there with a the, dive um, attack or anything, is it? He still has he still has the other uh, blitzer to create like some it. degree of a screen. Yeah, he could just sideline cage it. He might just score anyway. Oh wow, the two blessed goals. Well, if we start doing that, uh, kind of rookie mistakes. He could put this guy in like here or something. Here. Well, he's going to need to to shut down that hobgoblin as well. The wrestle yeah. goblin that's yeah, exactly. what you're in. And he can't screen in both places. He needs to screen above yeah. and besides. And yeah, he's yeah. Do one or the other. Here. So instead, he's just buddying up with the ball. I'm not sure that's good enough. Just scores. Yeah, yeah scores. so he scores. Yeah, I think that's the right choice. I thought that turn was awful. Um, yeah, I didn't like it. <laughs> it was alright, because it was a turn it could afford to be awful, because he always had the score option. But from shaping like he didn't want to, to do your turn so sort of loosely that you end up feeling you have to, it's not great, is it? But um, Devik has capped at 10 players now for the rest of the match. World Sitar has capped at 11, I believe. Yep. Super interesting. It's old um, squeaky bum time, isn't it? With no Apo, who'd you put on the LOS to get smashed? Well, I mean, as you said earlier, Jim, the real winner right now is Ducky, isn't it? Oh, yeah. That's always. <laughs> Yeah, I mean, this is like a really good Black Orc um, has died. Uh, it doesn't matter if it's only badly hurt, but yeah, and three, three big players missing. Well, two big players. So. They're, they're, they're both at MNG, aren't they? Yeah. As well. Yeah, so it's like, it's just three gone, yeah. Yeah, that's brutal. Brutal. Do you know what, though, right? Black Orc deaths, right? When you're on the right end of it, so when you're dishing it out, it's the best in it. Especially if it's like a level five or level six black orc, like a skilled up black orc. You, you, you know, you, you want to be nice to your opponent, go unlucky, but in fact you're going. <laughs> and yeah, let's be fair. You know, you're just loving life right then. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I can't. I to uh, <laughs> discuss uh, that argument, but because it's uh, true. <laughs> So if I did want to do toxicity in Blood Bowl, you're still up for it, calcium, right? Oh yeah, mate. Yeah, I'm, I'm all. About, I'm all about that. Listen, right, with my death roller right now, I am literally running over people, right, killing them, and then I'm reversing over their twitching corpse to make sure I've done the job properly. <laughs> it's great. 
the death roller with sneaky kit is sneaky kit is so good right now oh my <laughs> god i could literally like mad max someone in the face and then mark up another key player that's going to get it the following turn it's so brilliant <laughs> <laughs> So I still think the three people I wanted originally would be the great people to do it. Though Store obviously has to be offered a seat if he wants to come on. Um, but he gets very shy about the idea that he's ever done anything remotely toxic. <laughs> yeah, I, I, I can relate to that. Could I have Kfog on with his toxic showboating? That'd be good, wouldn't it? It's a, yeah. it's a great example of somebody who's like absolutely lovely person and like isn't toxic at all, but still gets accused of it. That'd be pretty. That'd be pretty fun. Well, the whole point is to talk to people who used to be toxic or used to be labelled toxic and how they felt about that, Jim. Oh. Obviously, no one's toxic now. They wouldn't come on and say so, would they? Ah, uh, yeah, of course. Well, I could be on then. Calcium long reformed, as I understand it. <laughs> Whistles innocently. <laughs> <laughs> I definitely wouldn't just tempt people on saying that I won't be accusing them of being toxic. I tell you who you could have on, right? You could have that twat Rick Reckless on. He's been playing us for years, that bellend. Honestly, he's been playing us all for fools. <laughs> well, I wanted to have Neil Watt on, who went to the Light and Dark tournament that uh, Throw Egg threw just before the lockdown. And deliberately went to try and win the most fouls. And fouled, I think it was 32 times in three games. Then, Amazing. No, I think it was 36, so it was an average of 12 a game. Um, Obviously called Neil, name of champions, just saying. Um, but, you know, it's... Uh, and yeah. someone that played him that I thought was Andy Davo, but he denies it was him, uh, said to me afterwards, oh, yeah, no, I'm, I'm not enjoying it much. Game one, I was against this absolute twat. All he wanted to do was just foul me. <laughs> Brilliant. And, of course, Job that's bad, sort of become the meta. So, was it toxic? Is it toxic? Is fouling a toxic thing? I think that would introduce that as a whole subject, which I think would be interesting. It's just smart now, isn't it? Why well, wouldn't you want yeah, to foul in the 2020 rule set? It's smart. Yeah, fouling and yet is a people still have real attitude to it because of the name. Yeah, it's stupid. That's just stupid. Hey, uh, this is a fun simple, quick story. I, I very recently played a fumble game against a guy, and I did what I do on fumble, and I did what I've always done. You know, 23,000 fouls and counting on fumble, just saying. <laughs> and I fouled the nuts off of this guy, and he got proper salty in the chat. Oh, you're an asshole. da, 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 da. Anyway, he put this really, really nasty game comment in, and I put, it's just what I do, mate. <laughs> you know, and my game comment in, just what I do, mate. And he actually messaged me, fair play to him, he messaged me, and he said, I've just seen your stats. I had no idea it was a way of life for you, he said. And he said, I take, I'm really sorry. He said, I thought you were just being a knob, and I can now see that this is genuinely how you play. <laughs> yeah. It's not you being a knob, it's that you are a knob. Well, yeah. Exactly, you know, exactly. Yeah. Ooh, the hey, gaping you know hole what? through the middle. This is interesting. I, there is a gaping I, I won't, hole. I won't, yeah, gaping hole. I won't say too much because um, this is a very important topic surrounding toxicity that I would really very much like to talk about. And you know, it, you know, it, it's it's no secret or anything. It primarily involves the way people want you to play Blood Bowl. Yeah. You know. Well, I mean, as with all pejorative labels. Mate, I, I always want to have a look at where do they come from and why are we using them. I've never liked, you know, Bash versus Dash. Mm. Why does the strength-based roster get to have the nasty name? <laughs> and the throwing agility roster get to have the nice sounding one? Well, so yeah, you know, that's every what time we, do. we use a every time we use a label, I wanna know, well why? Yeah, well, because yeah, Bash teams are better at bashing and Dash teams are better at dashing and it's kind of <laughs> alliterative a little bit, isn't it? It is, but That's if you called why. them, you know, armour versus coward teams. <laughs> you know, it's, it's the same, you're just flicking it the other way around. You know, dwarves and orcs and chaos survive through their armour. Or positional versus runaway. <laughs> you see what yeah. I mean? I mean you're still, you're still labelling the behaviours, but you're doing one negative and it's not the one we but used Bash to isn't negative, negative, is it? Why is Bash negative in a game because, called, called Blood Bowl? Because when we say someone's a basher, we don't mean that they're, you know, playing a successful strategy that is enlivening to watch. Talk do about not? yourself. Correct. Mm. <laughs> yeah, do we not? That uh, seems, okay. seems like you're, uh, you're making assumptions about their uh, PC, I, I yes, think. Yes, a lot yes, of yes, yes. About, and about the tones of voice I hear it used in. Mm. 
Fuck mm. me, it's got toxic in here, innit? Yeah, go on. PC, <laughs> well, you have to be does. a guest I mean, on your own show. How well, about I, I be host just, and you're the I guest? Will, because, as you know, I was accused very recently uh, by a big fan of the Bonehead podcast uh, of being uh, the you know, the flag bearer for the toxic elite. Yeah. Jesus. Is that right? right? This is perfect, know, honestly, PC, right? Oh, my God. Toxic I'll elite. Him from oh, limb. I want to be part of that. I hope. I truly hope that guy is considering me be part of that. What a um, name. We're considering, getting, we're considering getting jackets for me, actually. <laughs> like, like, like the Thunderbirds, the, the Toxic Elite, the team. Yes, that'd be brilliant. That's what we should do. Honestly, right, for the Toxic one, PC, you shouldn't host. You should be a guest. That That is genius. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Well, you want oh the master of God. toxicity, just invite the uh, Budo Mike, that man has more, has done more damage to the Blood Bowl community than all the fouls in the history of Blood Bowl together. <laughs> I I genuinely think that is true. Mm-hmm. That that man has driven more people away from Blood Bowl than anything else. Who's this, sorry? Except Games Workshop. Who's um, this? Video Mike. The guy that is hanging in the uh, TV right. Plus and Plus Plus systems. So I've got a toxic take on Voodoo Mike. <coughs> I don't know him, so I don't really have an opinion. How, put that in your toxic pipe and smoke it. <laughs> oh, this is terrible. This is terrible from Devok now, isn't it? Because you can put blitz him, yeah. chain him into there, and get yeah. both of them yeah. easily. Yeah, that's, this is shit, to be honest. No. Offense. If you're gonna push through like this, and it's it's a very viable strategy, then you either need to push further through, a couple more go for it, just get them slightly further apart create a bit more of a problem for the orcs to, to close down. Whereas this is just the Alamo, isn't it? It's three sad looking figures waiting for those orcs to just devour them. Uh, yeah, there's kind of only two as well, right? Because this guy's out of range. So, yeah. there's, there's two threats and they're in chaining range. And, and yeah, as, as Ducky said, he started this turn well it, and then it just ended terribly. Uh... Or you need to not push quite as far and stay more connected to the cage so that you're you know relevant to each other and that those orcs trapped down on the ground just in front of the cage might be forced to stay down, giving you numerical advantages. But they were just too far and not far enough at the same time. Yeah, he had to. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Yeah, he had to. He had to get men downfield. He just had to. He had to. But this isn't had to, but they had to be further. They had to be further. Don't. Okay, yeah. Had, had to done. do the GFIs. I don't get what he's had doing to... here because this isn't getting the chain done. No. Do you think? I... Do you think he actually decided to push and then changed his mind? Um, that that is really, really a dangerous thing to do in Blood Bowl. It you you apply a course of action. You decide you're going to do Plan A, and then halfway through the turn you think, oh no, I'm going to change and do Plan B, and then you just find your team split or stretched, you know. And it, I, it's, I I find myself doing that this is more shit. often than I like. But... Um, yes, I think you're right. I think. No, I, I'm not sure that he wasn't always planning on taking that hobgoblin down if he possibly could. Um, but can you see the play, Jim? Yeah, I think you might just get out of through here. <laughs> yeah. Well, I was looking at the little lonely hobgoblin on the other side with only one orc marking it. That's, that's really hard, though. That's really. But hard. now that that dodge out has worked, it's it's harder he to get the ball there. He, he has to go another square, doesn't he? he yeah, yeah. Another he'd have to chain him. He'd have to chain him. So it's really yeah. hard. Oh, he's out of range. Yeah, yeah. Ah, he was the one you meant out of the range. Okay, yeah. Well, then the bull does have options, doesn't it? Yeah. It bounces out through the black orc. The the play from World to Tower was a hundred percent to blitz this guy and then chain the bull in and then and then hit the bull down. Maybe this was really yeah. easy to do with both. Yeah, absolutely. You could knock over the two threats, which you know is what you obviously do. Yeah. I mean, that bull's probably not going to break free and get the ball into its hands, but it might. Yeah, exactly. Whereas if it's on the ground, it wouldn't. Yeah. <laughs> yes. <laughs> it's got more than zero chance. Not a high chance, but it's certainly got more than zero there chance. There are uh, scenarios where that bull scores. It's possible. It could happen. Mm. Will be this the turn of turns? Could be. He's got to uphill him, and then he might power him, and then he's just straight in the end zone, and then it's just like yep. a, a probably yep. a five plus pass and a. Oh, look, he's got a plus side, so it's probably a four plus pass and a four plus catch. Like, if he, if he uphill pals, if he uphill double pals, he's got a real good chance. 
If he doesn't, if he uphills and only pushes, it's very bad. It's a five plus, four plus. It's probably just a four. He can't dodge out backwards. He can can't dodge out backwards. One, no, it's ten. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Yeah, woof. So yeah, yeah, five four is really rough. It is, isn't it? But so you need to get those pals on the uphill, which yeah. is not easy to do. No. And if he doesn't, and then if he doesn't get, if he gets a board down, he's got a six five for it. <laughs> yeah, that's that's harder still. Break tackle's a lovely skill, he isn't it? Can't do that. He can't even do that. Anyway. He, he, the board down, he can't even do it. I don't think one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 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 nine. No, you're right. It'd be one short. Yeah. Do you think these were replacement balls, or we just got unlucky with um, <laughs> building them, or he's just crap? Uh, they've definitely no, I, been replaced at some point, right? Because he's got four skill chores. You know? Yeah, I, I, I think he's there. put forty games in and only got one of his bulls to six SPP. <laughs> <laughs> I I don't think that. <laughs> yes, he's yeah, he's taken some cut at some point. Ah, the old the old I'm joking, honest, governor. <laughs> <laughs> yes, the 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 this theory I heard is a joke, but. <laughs> <laughs> so good. That was quite possibly one of the greatest One World One Blood Bowl episodes I've ever seen. I was like, oh my god, this is just the best. <laughs> it's the, it's the only one he's gonna. People are gonna remember forever. That's that's it. That's it. That's the moment. Yeah. Well, I, only, be, only because of the number of people that saw it. Sadly, it was watched by less. But I thought the moment where Andy and Jimmy kissed and made up was was just beautiful. Oh. Yeah, that was nice. Poetry. That was that was. That was that was nice, but uh, there is there wasn't any toxicity there. Uh, meanwhile, uh, seeing a man uh, destroy his reputation in front of the other three madmen is uh, much better. Oh, he's got the pow! He oh gets my the pals. lord! Wow! <laughs> Someone's yeah. watching the stream. Right. That's, <laughs> that's it. That's it. That's it. That's it. Uh, the pages previously unimpeachable reputation it's somewhat gone. damaged there. He's gone the wrong way. He's literally gone the wrong way. He has gone the wrong way. He could have come oh, true. He got carried away. Mm -hmm. He got carried away, you know. This is this is going to make the throw maybe longer. I, uh, only maybe. a little bit, but just get on and do it. I think it's going to make the throw more epic. All right, let's be honest. It's a four plus, I there think. There you go. Come on. Oh, he got a three. Oh. 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 Tragedy. Dice it. Oh. Absolutely dice it. Don't get drama like that in Gation Impact, do you? <laughs> there you go. That was unbelievable, wasn't it? I'm way too close, though. Right, way, that was that was a bit bad from the to time to allow that. It, it wasn't great, and it was more shut downable than that. Yeah, yeah. It was a bad, bad offense from Debak and a bad response from Wells to But gets away with it, and uh... but it's a good day for Ducky. Yeah, yeah, and good telly, Jim. Yep. It was good telly. It was good telly, and now a 10v10. Very exciting. Both apples Anything gone. Anything could happen. Anything could happen. Ducky sat at his PC in his piss-stained white front. <laughs> All moist. <laughs> loving action, loving life right now. Loving <laughs> a bit of action. You know how you think everyone else lives how you live? Don't know what you're saying. <laughs> <laughs> I actually have I actually have Cookie Monster shorts on, all right, just for the record right now. <laughs> for fuck's sake, Kelsey. <laughs> yeah, the scatter catch would have been lovely, wouldn't it? If that ball had been, had been inaccurate, bounced on the floor, and then gone to hand. Oh. Yes, that would have been a beautiful blue ball moment. Oh, yeah. I'd have had feelings I haven't had for ten years. <laughs> <laughs> but unfortunately the ball fall out of the ground like it up in a pothole in the north of London <laughs> they are notoriously bad around here for me I'm, I appreciate tell me about that Calcio hasn't me. heard about that so <laughs> Inform well, uh, him of the situation, just in case he travels to North London. Yeah, I mean, very typically, Calcium, the, the local and quite toxic Tory government uh, came into Barnet and said they would be fixing the pothole situation, but they've done nothing. Um, there's a pothole that, that you might disappear in, my friend. 
Uh, and certainly is nearly waist high on me. Don't get me started, honestly. I just... Oh, come on, Calcium. Come no, on. No, no, no. I'm, I'm, I'm way too tired to start on uh, the clown posse that is our government at the moment. And Jim did threaten to ban me over my controversial pothole views. No, I but did I did not As I pointed out that my pothole views are completely well, independent of any of my views on Blood Bowl. Yeah, well, you know what we should do now, boys, don't you? Your Elliot quit. comments, however, are outrageous and should be rescinded instantly as soon as they were made. I should have shut what? you down. That was horrendous. Bad I said that I will, has Don't say it anymore. No, I'm not, not going to let don't you say it anymore, PC. Please. That is over there. the don't line. There, please. It's over the line. We will not have you besmirching the name of our Lord and Saviour, Sir Eliod, okay? Eliod L. Johnson is coming back to save the Imperium, so leave him be. Yeah. Well, I don't know about you, Faymir, but I think we should leave the commentary position in solidarity for our fallen brother, PC, just saying. You're, you're, you're I'm being right, silenced. You're right. I'm being you're silenced, right. One stream late, Calcium. We already did that. Oh, all I, shit. Okay. All, all, right, I, right. All, I did, all I did was ask a question. There's nothing toxic about asking a question, is there? What That's could enough. possibly be toxic about a question? That's no, enough. don't go, don't go, don't go, don't go. <laughs> Elliot, Hello, what a prick. <laughs> <laughs> Public demands to know, Lord, that's all. Oh they, can go to the, they can go to the board, they can go to the board. Oh I didn't put a certain piece of information into the public arena. Right, PC, I didn't that's that enough. sound clip. That's enough. <laughs> it's enough, PC. <laughs> it's enough, okay? Don't oh, say it's do over. <laughs> do it. <laughs> well, I think I think a very very loud boo to that, Jim. Yep, that's okay. B being silenced is uh, is not cool. No, you, you can. It's you a can boo say to being silenced. You can say anything you like on your own channel. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> Nobody cares enough about the SFL to insult it. That's true, Mordeddy. Exactly, Fun Glutton. Exactly. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> Passing resemblance. Oh my God. Anyway, I'm, I'm too. I'm too tired to rant about politics at the moment. Um, let's just start Good. on Rick. What a cog. <laughs> He's not coming. He's not coming to Nick Con or Jim Con. Yeah, exactly. Some, some kind of thing yeah. that oh, I just have a selfish, baby and blah blah. blah. Yeah. He yeah. wasn't the one giving birth. <laughs> <laughs> We've only got his word for it that he's the dad. I mean, <laughs> he's not necessary anymore. He already did the job. <laughs> oh my god. So he could, you know, come in the back in the day, back in the day, there is no chance, no doubt that, you know, the dad will be in the pub half an hour after the woman gives birth, you know, where they were actually uh, traditional values. <laughs> and he was on stream with this, this, you know, slightly random baby today, um, which he claims is his. And, and I think that's just shameless. Coming from Rick, coming from Rick, you know, if Rick goes to the uh, nursery and takes a baby, you know, who's going to stop him? Yeah. Where'd you get the baby, Rick? That's the... No one's asking these questions, Jim. Oh, my God. <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, it took uh, a year. Yeah, commentary so team uh, reshuffle yeah, is in the this order. Is in order. <sighs> so we have to fill so much time, you know, so silence is not an option. Yeah. And there is nothing more dangerous in this planet than a man sitting on a chair, looking uh, to a wall, you know, bored. <laughs> I thought you said stealing a chair. Especially, <laughs> especially if it's Dimmy, he's liable, he's yeah. liable to fall off. Yeah. <laughs> Certainly don't my be... Target, uh... My target for uh, Nick Con uh, and uh, uh, Jim Con, I'm part of the UKDC, is that Dimmy doesn't lose his phone. Yes. Yeah, that should be, one. you know, everybody, you know, focusing that, checking on him, where is your phone, like that. Put, uh, give him one of these uh, ropes you put around your neck, you know, so you can attach the phone there so he doesn't lose it. <laughs> oh, God damn. He will be able to call his wife after every game. 
<laughs> oh my god, Tony and Steve. He's a, Tony's going all in, isn't he? Holy <laughs> shit. Holy <laughs> shit, Tony. Absolutely, Tony. I've, I've noticed you never get to see the ankles, do you? There, there could be a chain down there, for all we know. It's very much an ankles upwards shot that we see of the woman supposedly. There's Mrs. Reckless. Maybe, you know, maybe that's why Gedeini was so long in the basement, you know? It was like a misery, the movie Misery, or the book Misery Situation, you know? <laughs> yeah. You know, that Rick with a hammer. Hi, Nick! Please me, Nick! <laughs> Woo! I'm gonna need some of your luck! <laughs> yeah. Oh, it, it all the makes sense in the bucket. Now. Yeah. It all makes sense now, doesn't it? With Rick Dice and, and uh, Nick altering reality. Oh, it all makes sense. You know what, I one day, you, right? I told you, it's the, like, the, the, like the astronomy can in Warhammer 40k. <laughs> oh, my God. One day, Rick is not going to turn the other cheek, right? And he's going to go medieval on all our asses, isn't he? <laughs> <laughs> Did you not hear the time that Rick was in mortal danger? He'd been running for a bus. Uh, and it was one of those old-fashioned buses where you can get on at the rear end, you know, where there's the little platform you can leap on as it's starting to move. And so it was pulling away, and he was running to keep up, and he leapt on, tried to make a leap for the platform, just missed, and came careening off the sort of bus platform at about 20 miles an hour into a bush by the side of the road. And as he was falling, he would, as anybody would, you know, let out some very, very harsh language. He was heard to utter the word, crumbs. <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> I know. Man, it's a savage. I know. Filthy, filthy potty mouth that he's got. I um, might be able to top that. You know? <laughs> I might be able to top that. So last August, I played Zorb football, right? Have you ever played Zorb football when you get into one of those giant inflatable balls and then just run around bouncing off of each other? I have <laughs> played with giant balls, um, yeah, but I've never, never fun. in football. So anyway, I played Zorb football, right? And I got sent into orbit and the rest of my team were dying because apparently as I was going into orbit, I shouted, holy cow. Now, anyone that knows me from Blood Bowl knows that, you know, um, I have a rather colorful vocabulary. Um, holy cow being not one of my well-known phrases. Yeah. <laughs> Heavens to Betsy, I've slipped. <laughs> yeah. Goodbye, cut me. If you've never done Zorb football, you've got to do it, right? It's just I Zorbed on, um, on Loch Ness. Mm -hmm. But it was just literally oh, trying wow. to keep the Zorb, you know, moving. Oh, is that the one on the, on the water tit. and you just, yeah, you, you yeah. can't stand up or anything? No, you spend the entire time well. just going arse over tit and everyone laughing at you. No, these are and ones then a 12-year-old gets in and doesn't fall over once. Yeah, these are ones you actually wear and they go right. high up above your head so you can actually go arse over tit in them and it doesn't hurt at all. And you literally run at each other and then bounce off. If you've never YouTubed it, <laughs> YouTube Zorb bullfighting. fighting. So what they do is they get guys in Zorb balls, right, in the middle of a bull ring, and these bulls just charge them and literally send these guys into orbit. Honestly. <laughs> it's that literally. Would be fun. Yeah, it, it's very funny. Yeah, what you, I did you... do down in Brighton on a stag do was uh, drunk football. So they put these glasses on that, that impede your vision to the point where you just can't do anything. You, know, <laughs> you, you can't walk properly. You can't, certainly can't kick a football. I don't know about Jim, but that was an average Sunday morning for me in Sunday yeah. league. <laughs> well, I, I played I played invisible friend, frisbee with my friends, uh, where we just pretended to have a frisbee and just started throwing it and stuff, and like pretend oh to catch God. it and throwing it and catching it. And then oh, I, I, I was really it. sad for a minute. There. I thought the friends were going to be invisible, Jim. No, was... very good. No, and I threw it. I threw it, and I, it, I said it's landed on the toilets because, like you know, there's like some public toilets, and I said it's landed on the roof. <laughs> My mate was fucking, he cut all his hands to shreds <laughs> trying to climb up this fucking wall to get the invisible frisbee. Brilliant. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. Brilliant. That is a much better story than how you used to play frisbee with all your invisible friends. That, yes. that would have been sad. It would have been, wouldn't it? But no, it didn't, it didn't happen. Invisible frisbee world champion. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Owner of all the records. Yeah, 2004-2005, bitch. <laughs> My fish are very healthy, thank you, Lod. We we don't know. We may have lost one in the winter. I've seen three of them around. The fourth one looks very like the third one. 
<laughs> to, to be honest, three and four look almost identical. You know, they are just fish at the end of the day. Um, but yeah, at least three of them have made it through the winter, which is nice because there's been heavy building work going on next door, and that pond is right next to the, the boundary with next door. They've been rebuilding that place for like a year, and it's been you know loads of dust and crap. Not great for the poor little fish. Mm. Interesting. So last turn, uh, Devak had to dodge so he didn't get this bull sent or surfed. Yeah. And now uh, World Sitar has got lots of contact here. Lots of contact. Strength boys, guard boys, stun firm boys. Very tricky, very tricky turn now for Devak and very tricky drive for Devak as he is 1 0 down. His best case scenario is overtime. Uh, it's he's, gonna be he's, tricky. he's locked, isn't he? He's pretty locked here. Um, the Rocking. switch isn't on, is it? The switch is on. Do you think it's on? I yeah, don't know. Yeah, switch is on. So the on, over on the right hand side, the bull is not down. Um, it's it, it takes a bit of nerve to do it, but you can GFI the dwarf in to provide the guard and tag up the line orc, and then you yeah. can hit with the uh, hobgoblin. And as long as you even move that black orc, then that bull is free to zip up that right hand wing. Uh, maybe even with the ball in its hands, and then nothing could stop it. Uh, it's it a big get, ball play. It's a big ball's play, but that's what I'd be looking at here because he's in such trouble. But certainly yeah. you can switch through that mechanism. Yeah. Um, it, it, it's doable, but you do leave a lot behind, so it's really high risk. You need to know what you're doing and know where you're going if you're going to do it because your two advanced hobgoblins could not be rescued and probably three dwarves have to get left behind as well. Yeah, I think he's just got to punch things and hope for the best. Yeah, that is the other option. <laughs> That's I mean, dwarfs aren't bad at punching things and hoping for the best. And this is a lovely... He's freed the bull beautifully there, so that's it's a good start. Yeah. I say freed it. I mean, he's you know, got it off the black or... Yeah, but you blitz it on you. You can blitz that line on, get, it, get him up and into things. I don't think it's potato time. If potatoes, he loses, right? Like that, That's yeah. the problem, because he, he he won't be able to stall it out and then World of Tower score in four or whatever, so he's he's yeah. got to just punch and hope. Pretty much, I think. Well, I mean, he—I suppose if the bull blitzes, which it's going to do, yes, it is. There's a space in there that he can try and defend. Yeah. There is the frenzy, which is a yeah pain in the yeah, ass. That's why I wanted to switch. Switch, okay. He's got stand firm. He can put the stand firm out. Yeah, yeah, yeah. This this could this Venger bus shape could work, couldn't it? Damn, I miss when stand firm uh, allowed you to um, dodge and fail oh, and God. not get punished for oh, it. Oh, it was glorious, but <laughs> oh my God, insanely overpowered. Yeah, when dwarves were a superpower, <laughs> <laughs> they've always been a superpower when PCs at the helm. Mm. I'm a elf player now, Calcium, but thank you very much. Good. I'm looking forward to running over you in due course <laughs> with, <laughs> with my mighty death roller. <laughs> I'll reverse twice just for you, PC. <laughs> I was only ever playing dwarves to sort of understand how they worked, mate. I've always been an elf coach at heart. <laughs> yeah. you know, when, you, when you love the pointy ears and the flinging of the ball, yeah. there's nothing you can do. It just calls to you. Yeah, we we all believe you, PC. <laughs> and passing so much more fun and interactive now. Oh yeah, passing the, for some reason killed by Games Workshop. <laughs> Did he run the ball back here? He might have to. Well, they do say it's dead. I say it's just that's a better way to surprise people when you do pass it. Mm. Yeah, yeah I, I was going like to say, if he... the Hobgoblin, yeah, that one didn't like that, Ducky. Honestly, Devak does some weird things, right? He does some really good things, and he does some really suspect things as well. It's it's weird. Like, I mean, he can use this bull here still with the other Hobgoblin to create a nice little screen for the ball to be behind and sort of go a bit <laughs> wider across the pitch, which I quite like in terms of giving him options. There's obvious risk in it. Oh, I don't like going there, though. Jesus. Yeah, he needs it for the 2D, though, doesn't he? So... Yeah. I was going to 1D it, but okay. <laughs> All right, should still be okay, but now we can't advance the hobgoblin because we have to keep that back left shut. Yeah. Oh, it does the one D? Oh. I hate that because you have to re-roll it. 
yeah, and, uh, surely. you only got three, and and overtime is your best case scenario. So yeah, I think yeah, because if he goes down, you're getting sacked, and you're getting pushed into another two D. Oh. Oh. Yeah, I hate that. Like, that's what I mean. He does he does things like that, you know? Like that, it's weird, man. He does... I mean, you were better off not taking that block because you couldn't afford to fail it. Yeah. And at least if you know if he does move that, he's only got the, I suppose the fast one and the line ought to come through, so it would have been quite bad. But still, you've got a blodge piece. It should have been. I'd have left it there. You, you can't take that hit. Yeah. No, you can't. So what do you do here now? Do you um obviously the black hook is the obvious option. Do you go pal fishing? I think so because you've you've got you've got the follow up from this guy, right? You can uh, you can yeah he can uh, push and stuff. Yeah push the hobo up to be in contact with a lot of orcs because there is a lot of free hits uh, that are uh, waiting to happen in fact if he to dice the hobo with the mighty blow uh, black orc push him down and then comes with the black orc there is in a, even a bigger chain that can give him you know even more space and more uh, charge pieces in contact with the orcs, which is exactly what you want right now. That's actually, um, do you know what? That's pretty, yeah, I quite like that because he can manufacture, he could give himself um, a 2D with a black orc into a 1D, couldn't he? Um... Yeah, because if he goes, if he if he pushes this hobo into the empty square between the bull and the chorf, then he can push the chorf on the left hand side away. He's, the chorf's um, got stand with black firm. Or... This is the problem. These, no, 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 no. With on the on the left, Jim. So okay. basically, so he needs to go up behind the hobgoblin, blitz square, and then the chain will push that dwarf on the left up with the black orc a square forward, and it will give him a one D following a two D. I know what I'm talking about honestly. Okay, good. <laughs> <laughs> uh, he hasn't opted opted for that, so you know. No, he's gone for the simple two die. Yeah, I think thirty percent against the large piece. You do that, but he's got two guards here, and you can't chain anything away. That's the problem. So you can you can get a you can get a. Oh, he still manufactured the one D here. This is no, alright. No. no, this is red dice. He's got he's got two guards that you can't move. That's is it is it two guards? Oh, it's two guards. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Two sorry, yeah, 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 yeah. guards. Yeah, you're can't right, be yeah, moved. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah they're yeah, you're they're right. doing an incredible job in there. They're making yeah, yeah. this a red dice still. Um. And very hard to see. I mean, I don't see how he gets it other. No, he just stays. There okay, he can. He can. He can bring the quick one round the back and get one die. Yeah. But could. that really robs him of what's up front. It's whether he thinks he needs that up front. Ooh, oh, jam oh, 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 Did he reroll right. that? No. Because that would have given him the extra assist, wasn't it? He was coming in onto the the one movable dwarf. I would have been really giving him an assist though, because he's got frenzy and doesn't have guards so... or. It was. Um, this oh is God, fine, he doesn't have right? guards. Yeah. Just leaving this here. <sighs> just yeah, just two D him. You know, like, this is this is a very much a pickle, isn't it for? A, yeah. A oh yeah, he's in he's in a bad spot, isn't he? Mm. So there's no real need to put the movement guy in the back, or you know. I mean, there are. <sighs> That's not the side I'm worried about at all. I'm worried about the other side, Jim. Where again, there's a bull being held by only a line orc. Yeah. I see that as an opportunity when I've got another bull to blitz that black orc off. Yeah, now. I, it I looks quite like good. Project Potato this turn. Yeah, now it looks a decent potato turn, yeah. You can remove the tackle, can't you? Um, stand up the chorf in the middle. Gives you a 2D on the tackle. I think you've got to blitz the black no. orc off the ball and then retreat over to the right hand side of the pitch. Oh no, it's only a one D. Bull up. No, sorry. Yeah. Unite your bulls and the ball and whatever else you can just stand up, just stands up and gets in the way of everything. And then you see which of your bulls you're trying to release the next turn. Release the bulls. Well these bulls are so very terrible, aren't they? But you know. Say la vie. It's super interesting. I don't hate just blitzing with a bull and then handing off to him, like dodging through and handing off to him. Like that's how bad things are. I think that I wouldn't hate that. <laughs> what on a four three? Uh, three two. He's. Uh... Oh yeah, he's, he's plus agility. Okay, yeah. Well, no, that does make it more viable. 
except that ball was on the ground. If that ball hadn't been on the ground, blitzing the orc off it and dodging on a 3-2 to 4-plus and gone is quite nice in this position. Yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah. If you could just hand off to him and then move, it's way better, yeah. But he could still have, like, gone 3, 4, 5, 6, 7 or something, and then 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, like, gee, if I hand off something like that. It does look like we are trying to go over there and screen over that side. Yeah. It's I mean, the it's the safer option, thing, obviously, it? blitzing. Oh, yeah, okay. I don't think you have to go all Don't have around. to be all that way around. That was a lot of movement, here. wasn't it? Gonna push yeah. Here, then, I guess. That's the only reason to, yeah. And I don't see why you are. I mean, no, pushing him to the hair is good enough, isn't it? Yeah, it would have saved you two squares of movement. Yeah. But, oh well. Yeah, Raven, but he hasn't got tackle, right? And he's only, like, he's only strength three, so... Oh, wow, he's double... No, he hasn't double one, he's got tackle. Yeah, so with the presence of tackle there, that means that... The three two off gets a lot worse, doesn't it? Yeah. Though the situation was that desperate that I wouldn't have hit the three two still. No, I still because the the two would have had it. So it's you're just putting the pump in the reroll into the three, and then it's a one in thirty six afterwards. Mm. It's not the end of the world. It seems really brutal now, doesn't it? Um, only being able to use one reroll per turn. <laughs> 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 What a bastard roll that was. I rule that was, honestly. Oh, why would they limit you that way? It's so ridiculous. I know. The biggest thing is is in burning that reroll on that one D that you shouldn't have taken, isn't it? Because now yeah. he's only got one reroll left instead of two, and it's going to be yeah. hard to get this done with one reroll. Never mind then winning overtime as well. You you finding World Sitar's four rerolls quite intimidating, are you, Jim? Uh, a little bit, yeah. Yeah, me too. Feed your imaginary fish. <laughs> my wife, right? Now, um, Wendy, obviously everyone knows my wife. I was not especially seeing that reason, but sorry, carry especially, on. Cass. Especially McNaughton, right? Um, but <clears throat> anyway, Wendy, uh, late last year, got some fish. Um, got some fish, you know, done. And she promptly killed them, right? Um, because... Wendy with plants and fish uh, is exceptionally bad at keeping them alive. Now she wants a puppy. Yeah, exactly. You know, fish, fiver down the old fish shop, you know, pets at home and all that nonsense. A £1,500 puppy is a little bit different if you smoke that poor bastard. Do you know what I mean? So, I'm, I'm yeah. At least there are more people in your house to care of the puppy, you know. They will be more invested. Oh my god, a puppy would come into my place going, oh my god, this is a fucking madhouse I want out. <laughs> I'm very much against. I would love to have a dog now that my kids are older, but unfortunately my wife's allergic to everything. Um, but I think there's something you're not considering here. Have you really honestly asked yourself, is this puppy or baby? If I say no to puppy, is there suddenly a, oh, just by accident, late child of love in the world? My God, no, PC. I've I, I've done my bit for the human race for five, for God's sake, and I. I the have only you, reason. Uh, have you declared yourself a Jaffa? Have you gone? Uh, no, no, no. I'm I'm trying to fast track a vasectomy, but right now you can't even get a doctor's appointment, let alone a vasectomy. Seriously, the only way I'm getting a vasectomy is if I pop to Leeds and Jim does me with two bricks. That's the only way I'm getting a vasectomy right now. Seriously. I had it done about five years back. Oh, there's a memory, Jesus. <laughs> I don't want to go too far into it because Jim would get upset. But yeah, suffice yeah, to yeah. say, at the exact moment it was happening, the doctor asked, you know, just before the, he said, um, do you mind if the trainee watches as well? You know, people have to learn. I went, that's fine. Very experienced doctor, really good job. The trainee was a 23-year-old woman and the nurse <laughs> was a 22-year-old woman. Uh, and at the exact moment of the operation, the two of them were discussing their nightlife and what they'd been up to the night before, which I felt wasn't appropriate. <laughs> Probably not, and and it was cold in there, obviously. I mean, one of them had something in their hands that I'm quite attached to. <laughs> I, I have to endure a similar situation. We have to go through a procedure, not a not a vasectomy, but the other thing that could happen to anyone any moment, as I was informed by the doctor, which he was like, okay, and. Uh, 
while he was uh, doing the needle uh, work and the knife work, there were two nurses, nurses there to uh, that. And I remember uh, the doctor, you know, asking me, well, okay, how is it going? And I told him, well, when I imagine this scenario of two women handing, uh, you know, taking care of my uh, equipment, I can guarantee you, doctor, you were never in that image. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, I wish I and had he told me, like and he told me, you should stop making jokes. You don't make me, you don't want to make me laugh right now. And I, th <laughs> I thought, yeah, that's exactly it. That's, yeah. Is that, is, that a certain, um, is that a certain well-known procedure practiced by um, a particular religious group? No, no, no. Also, yes, yes. I mean, I could join that religious group uh, <laughs> right now in theory. Well, I, funnily enough, we were talking about that. Um, I actually uh, joined that group at the age 37, um, which was no fun at all because I'd no, become no. very Mine attached when to Mr. I was, Porkin by then. When um, I was you know. 25 or 26, it was like, this is uh, some pressure here unexpected. I went to the doctor and told me, look, this could happen. And the, when I went to, for the surgery for the, I don't know the word in English, but I can I imagine you guys uh, you know uh, what it is. Uh, uh, there was uh, more people waiting to get it done because it was it's done like in 10, 15 minutes. It's not like, you know, uh, anything complicated. And there was like a 78-year-old man, absolutely wow. raging. How is this possible? I've been a magician. <laughs> well, I, I feel terribly sorry for both of you, but there's a worse time. <laughs> at my school, we had a chap called Alec Brown, and uh, I happen to know that he had to have his done at 14 and a half. I know this because the entire school found out, uh, and his nickname forevermore was Phallic Alec Brown. There you go. There you go. Because at 14 and a half, for the entire school to find out that you've just had a small part of your penis chopped off, when it's at an all-male school, is not ideal for your social crowd. Oh my God! <laughs> yeah, I thought he'd blitz yeah. with a ball there and then got down right because he hasn't got much time left. I think, uh... Jim's oh, yeah, like, yeah, yeah. He's secured it reasonably bowl. well. Please yeah, he has. Blah, blah, <laughs> we, we, we've, we've got into a very choppy situation here. <laughs> <laughs> that's that's called a segue. That's why I'm the best of the business. Yes, uh, it's a total slice and dice situation. <laughs> lovely for me. Lovely. Great magic card uh, slice and dice. I can't wait to hear Space's opinion on late life circumcision. <laughs> Well, he's more or less the, the living definition of one, so... <laughs> so he's actually stabilised, if you like, sort of quite well, um, quite late in his drive. But the pressure's been somewhat relieved on the actual ball carrier. Um, yeah. I know we've lost a lot of pieces in doing so, but we've kind of got a defended area we can try and spring out from now. Yeah. And we've really we've got the point where we've really got to do it either this turn or next. Yeah, the springing out part is going to be the challenge, isn't it? This this it, it this is, is getting Jim, yeah. powered. He's, he's yeah. getting pummeled. The fun with glutton. Uh, the fun glutton he's just said, "Yeah, the ball is going nowhere." Um, ironically, fun glutton. I just looked at your name and I thought, "What kind of name is that?" Fun glutton. <laughs> <laughs> oh my ah. God, calcium! This is not the first time this happens. I know. To you. I got form for this, and I. Oh, I managed to hit the ball here. Actually, yeah, gets the power there. If he gets a pal on this next one. Oh wow, oh. kills him. Oh wow, Ducky really cheering on the chops now. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Ducky's like, <laughs> fetch me my marigolds. <laughs> and I, just, I just assumed that Fung had joined us from, you know, Hong Kong or somewhere. I thought that was you know, our global appeal. That's... I read it like that. It's so funny. <laughs> Fung, Lutton. <laughs> oh no, don't find the clip, Jay Bazza. No, oh, and, the uh... clip! Too soon, to man. Too soon. <laughs> it was to just an Asian too. person trying to say fun button. <laughs> God. <laughs> oh, my God. Oh, my God, PC. Dimmy, I still think that looks like a Minotaur. Like a really, really drunk Minotaur going, I love you, man. <laughs> <laughs> it, it so does. A little bit of a low, a low level uh, humour there. I.e. not funny. <laughs> Jesus Christ. <laughs> PC rolling off in his grave at the East <laughs> <laughs> Oh, God. 
that was huge one. If you got the POW on that bull after getting the other POW, then um, yeah. he would have had the 2D there and he would have just had these two in maybe to uh, 2D the ball. But... Then all was doomed. But so far it's not. This rickety little cage is, is, you know, the House of Sticks is holding up to the big bad wolf so far. Yeah. The big bad wolf. Jimmy just made about the uh, write the apology every five minutes, more or less. <laughs> yeah, maybe, maybe. Yeah, like, like, the, like the Patreon, the YouTube channel, the Discord, you know. Yes. <laughs> 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 That's a good idea, actually. Because some people will have never seen it before, rather like Elliot and... No, I'm not good. <laughs> no, no, PC. No, no, wait, I stop myself. I stop myself. Those were the days, Jim, when we, when, when there was no Fs given. You know when we opened up your rebel stream with uh, F the police. <laughs> oh dear! I was a long time ago. It was. You're now, you're now about to bear witness to the strength of Jimmy Fantastic. <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah, Juggernaut, amazing. Works correctly in Blood Bowl two, unlike Blood Bowl three. Amazing. I remember Nick uh, making a, you know, a poll, which, which skill is going to be, you know, the one that doesn't work in Blue Ball 3. And I instantly say Juggernaut. 100% Juggernaut is not going to work. All of them. <laughs> yeah, all of them. All of, them. Yeah, all of the above is also one of the answers, but the one is uh, uh, Juggernaut because he has so many combinations, so many situations that is... Uh, yeah, just odd interactions, very much Odd so. interactions are already complicated, you know, you try to follow the rules as the rules. So adding least, them in the game and all that and the state of it, that, that, that was my bet. At least they've had a go at Juggernaut and got it wrong. <laughs> They're not even attempting swarming just yet. Well, this I is still can't, I, I still can't me? believe they fixed dirty, um, dirty play and sneaky get. Honestly, multiple fouls with the death roller was just the best. <laughs> <laughs> Very competitive division, the competitive division right now. On Blood Bowl 3. Top 50, I, baby. I, I wish I could see a way through this, but I just, I'm not seeing one. I think you've got to go down the sideline, right? I think you've got to, uh, you've got, I think you've you've got, got to 1D this right, guy, you? and then you've but, got to try and power this guy and move up, and then. Uh, you've got different. one reroll. You, you've got to bring at least one bull with you, and then hope the second one dodges off. Yeah. yeah. Do you open I this with a 1D PC yeah, yeah. to oh, have, that bull? Yeah, you've yeah, got to. One D's got one. to. It's a 2 plus, right? It's fine. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, so yeah. 1D, uh, you have grab, you have uh, other things, so yeah, you have to. It's blockless, but then you're probably trying to protect the ball with one bull and one hobgoblin, which, if my tone of voice hasn't told you, I'm not particularly positive about. That's pretty and good. That's, that's pretty that's good, after you, If you power this guy, it's good, right? You, you, first of all, you've got to do the, the two plus, and that's got to work. Then you've got to power that stand firm tackle orc, and that's got to be a power. Yeah. And then you've got a sideline-ish cage might be able to even get in range if you push it, push it. No, this is that's not no, no, that's not gonna be enough. No, this is gonna be not gonna be enough. Like safer that's... in terms of it like getting something out of it, but you're just not getting enough payoff, I don't think. Go, go. Yeah, yeah. In yeah. the in the real of moving the ball up the safest way this time, yes, you are doing it. But in the long term it's not going to be enough. Yeah, yeah, exactly. It gives the Orcs too much time to swing around in front of this attack and to stop it dead, which they will. It's oh, wow. Not... He's left that bull dangerously close to the sideline there. Yeah, yeah, it's not enough space that he's taken here. He's not near enough. The only thing in range to score is the bull, and the bull won't be there. It's it's not enough, Jim, is it? No, no. And, and you know, ultimately, he had the GFI there anyway, right? So that GFI <laughs> might as well have been a 1D here. And then, yeah. you know, yeah. try and get this power. I'd probably even have put the reroll in on powering that orc. I felt it was the only way to get enough upfield to get a score next turn. I don't think there'll be a turn 16 score here. No, I don't think so. I think if he tries to leave it that late, the orcs will be all over him. I mean, he's got to leave it that late now because he's not even in range, is he? I so... know. But, you know, turn 16 gives him the best chance of winning the game, so like, you can understand. But it, it is a blodge piece, and there aren't actually tackle orcs in the near vicinity, so there's always some shots here. 
got a Depends where he put dodge. that firm tackle, doesn't it? Um, Huge dodge now. Oh, no. Oh, that's not... Oh, well, he gets a cast, though. Fantastic news for Ducky. Good for uh, Ducky. Oh, yeah, very good. Good. Ducky. Ducky. <laughs> Ducky dancing right now. Oh, my yeah. God. I have to say... Uh, uh, Wolves it are orcs. They are destroyed. The, the extra movement uh, one as uh, armor eight. The guard, the lino as an eagling, I think, and they are more injured players. You know, they like mm. this team has suffered to reach this point. God, that's ever, yeah. And now it's not going to yeah. win the final. I think that that just hands the game to Ducky now. There's too many good old orcs missing. Yeah. Um, was there any other human that felt that bull should do that hit rather than a try a four plus dodge? Uh, anybody uh, else? <laughs> No, maybe a foreign agent, but uh... <laughs> yeah, Ducky. Du think... Ducky definitely wanted to make that hit instead of dodge. Yeah, oh yeah, Ducky, no, that's Ducky, it. Ducky, Ducky, Ducky. Ducky. Yeah. Ducky and Devak were on one mind there, but all the rest of us thought it was a mistake. Don't say it's over. <laughs> Yeah, I mean, you know, Wilson has done well and, and stuff, but also it's been pretty easy for him, right? Like he's had he's been like he's had a better team and been men up and like, you know, it's he's got a stronger team and everything. Like and it's been easier to you know, and like it's weird because it's it's hard to like it's funny because if Devak had done something amazing to break away, you'd be like, Wow, that was amazing, wouldn't you? But like it's not. It's hard to. It's harder to say that World Star is playing amazing. Just like you know, taking what's given and like getting in the way and making you know playing it safe and making it safe because that's kind of like the natural. Yeah, I think he's played amazing, Jim. Um, so my case for that is that he's still got four rerolls left with. Uh, yeah. You know, two and a half turns he's left a... in the second half. So even if he does concede a touchdown here, he goes into overtime as massive favourite. But he has lost some good orcs, but he's not dropped his head. He's kept his positions really, really firm. Um, he didn't panic when he did have you know, the chorfs in all sorts of trouble. As I said, they did fight back to a good, stable position. That didn't seem to panic him. So I think he's played great. But you're right. When when everything's been going your way, it's hard to do anything showily good, isn't it? This exactly. matchup, yeah. Yeah, this exactly. matchup on paper is the one that our, our coach will sign for every single time. Yeah. Versus chores without the weak bulls and no claw. I think that that's the perfect match. It Even is. and the TVs are so similar that I think Devak got a babe and there was all of it. Yeah, yeah just a babe. So yeah. it's like, oof, yeah, yeah, I want this is the, the perfect match. Instead, by the chart, this is a Neymar uh, matchup. So absolutely, as Firm is saying, so Will Sitar came in knowing, look, I'm ahead here. You know, I can play conservatively and, and it should almost always work out for me. And if it isn't, perhaps I need to think of something else. But until then, I can just play within my limits and it should all be fine. At the moment, it mostly is being fine. Oof. Oh, well. After oh, all that being well. said, <laughs> there's going to be a sideline Here coach. we go. Good chance of a sideline, sideline, uh, sideline. Why didn't he stand up that prone orc? It was, it was that that orc wasn't stuck. I think he was, was it? coming in afterwards. Yeah, he's going to double GFI. Yeah, double GFIing into uh, space afterwards. I don't know. I don't know. Yeah, I think I think the player was double GFIing stand there. Yep. Yeah. I think now we see. Um, and now the reroll honest. on the power, right? You've got to reroll for the power here. And then yeah. Down. I think now we reroll for the power and we, we see a score, most likely, yeah. from the Chaos Dwarves. Yeah. Which is a shame because I didn't really like their position, so I think they've slightly got away with it, but that happens in Blood Bowl. Yeah. Well, Tsitar couldn't resist the old frenzy trap. Mm. And that was a proper. Uh, hey, he, full... he, knew, he knew he was frenzy trapping himself. He yeah, it was a genuine him. frenzy yes. opportunity there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yes, yeah, yeah. yes. He was like a red dice. If he was one dice, two dice into one dice, yeah, of course you have rerolls, you have that, okay. But into red dice, <laughs> the fail state is like, ooh. <laughs> because now. Maybe he's the... thinking about just going here. Maybe he doesn't reroll it, right? Maybe he could, yeah, tag this oh. guy and then go one, two, three. <sighs> Four, five, six, like something like that. Just go past him, or, or one, two, three. Yeah, maybe you don't have to reroll the power, but you need to think about the reroll, right? Like, yeah, this should be instant whether he rerolls it or not. He, he should have. Should yeah, have he, he's decided not to, and that's why he's advanced the other guy, which is fine because the other guy was going to go into that exact position even if the power came. Yeah, interesting. In blood, we trust. Yeah, but I guess th so. this 
I don't think this works without at least one other bull there, Jim. No, but I, I said that last turn and it did work, so... I don't see what you do if you don't reroll the power here, because this guy gets jump up surfed and now there's a tackle that can hit the ball. Or a wrestler that can hit the ball. Wrestler and it, yeah, wrestle or tackle, it's the same difference really, isn't it? So. It is, yeah. <clears throat> I think you make the blitz first, and then if you then you can like tag and stuff right with the others. So I still think you just make the blitz first and see what happens. But I think you you need to know whether you're going to re-roll before you make that blitz. Yeah, agreed. Why between wrestle and tackle? Tackle is the best option because tackle involves an armor roll, and if you roll uh, both down, your player is still up. Yeah. So, so he Why is oh, oh, I, I hate that. Gone. I hate it. And he double GFIs. A like, couple of yeah, casual okay, GFIs. I, 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 I actually, I don't hate those. At this point, you need to be as far down the field as possible. You accept you're probably not keeping the ball. So what you want to do is stop them getting too much there to give you some hope of snagging it up and getting over the line next turn. Divac fought fuck it at that point, <laughs> didn't he? Yeah, the yeah, big red like... fuck it button was pressed. <laughs> Close your eyes, press the button, just press the yeah. reroll when you hear the, the, the fail. Yeah, you yeah, the, yeah. The fail some press reroll and that's it. So I think you, you move this guy in here, jump up surf him, and then blitz with tackle. If yeah. Like if, if, yeah. if you get the surf, blitz with tackle. If you don't, Wait, there then, is... you, then you can blitz with rest. The... The tackle uh, orc is also um, niggle. Do, do, you, 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 surf, you surf the hobo now, don't you? Um, With jump up frenzy? No, it'd be a geofy, maybe. Maybe, but then you... No, oh, no, I'm I, sorry. I, I, do you know what? Surf, for some, uh, no, do you know what? I, when I saw the bull go um, fail the dodge, I, for some reason I thought it was the bull on the sideline. No, 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 no. no. You just um, You just surf that. Yeah, jump up surf, and if you don't make yeah, the jump yeah. up, then then this guy can assist, and you can blitz with wrestle. So you yeah, can yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, you can move him in first because whatever yep. happens, he's going to go there. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. Makes the big two plus. Only a three plus for dwarves because you know goes workshop hates them. <laughs> yeah, so five and the six one hitting him. I guess you could blitz with the wrestler to try and keep it in bounds, but I think it's definitely better to just hit there because going out of bounds probably helps you anyway. So I'm pretty sure you just take break his armor and it's exactly yeah. tackle gives Adamant. you the chance of break armor and winning the game. And wrestler leaves the player on the ground so he can get up, dodge, and pick up the ball. Yep. Yes, but but the thing exactly is that for me. Not, but there is also the element like keeping the ball in, in bounds, right? So if there was then a just big knock it up. Keeping... Oh no, you're right because he has to do it from the side, so it has yeah. to be yeah. to the edge. Yeah, yeah. yeah. But but plus putting it's, stand it's firm brilliant. there in front of whoever is you know managed to snag the ball up next turn is good. Yeah. So I do was... think doing it with a the tackle, there's there's lots of reasons why it's better. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Totally. This time, the only reason would be if you didn't want it to go out of bounds, but you do want it to yeah. go out of bounds because it's yeah. looking pretty good. Because the angle you could do it with with the wrestle was better. No, but, there you go. Actually, um, well, yeah, I mean, shut down that hobgoblin. Hobgob, the, yeah. the frenzy hobgob is the biggest worry right now. Yeah. So if he powers him, it's it's not. Well, if he pushes him, in fact, it's fine. Yeah, yeah. He just needs to push him. And he gets on the diagonal from the ball to that hobgoblin with even a push, so it's beautiful. There we go. Powers perfect. GGs. Well, there is Good this done. guy. There is there is there is a hobo here. Yeah, it's theoretically possible the ball gets passed to the other hobgob and he scores, but it's it's theoretically possible. Don't say it's over. <laughs> the voice you do when you do that, Jim, it, it just doesn't sound a very experienced voice. <laughs> oh my God, PC, stop it! <laughs> do I know when I leave it, the goal, eh? <laughs> Well, there we go. It's it is technically possible, I think. Um, Bull could like five, 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 two D. Pow! Ball goes to uh, five, bounces five, back five, through the six, ball. One D bounces there. He picks it up, long bombs it to him. 
and then he scores. But yeah, essentially yeah. it's over. Yeah, that. <laughs> That's the only way it works. Oh, I like this as the oh, start. Yeah, 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 give the ball the space by moving the um, moving the black hole first. Yeah. Yeah, yeah drinking those thing. drinking those dice, baby. I mean, it failed, but it was the right start because yeah, then yeah, the ball was. was only a four plus. It yeah. was to possibly make the magic happen, but yeah. so I respect that right start. But it's over. It is now over. See, it's over, and oh my god, what a game for Ducky as well. Two monster players out, monster blitzer, monster blackhawk are missing the final, and that is a great yeah. result for Ducky because. World Star doesn't have that many good players. So, uh, yeah, I think Ducky is going to be a heavy favourite in the final. To be Well, honest. it'll give World Star some opportunities with the inducement screen. Yeah. Um, it might be that that's the way to go. Uh, we don't know his cash situation. It might be that he floods the field with goblins. Mm. Uh, that would be funny, at least. Yeah, he's got to do but, something funny because he's up against 11 guard orcs. <laughs> yeah, you, I mean, I've seen Ducky's team. That looks... Brutally efficient. <laughs> Ducky's such a prick, isn't he? <laughs> Honestly. 11 guard. Who needs 11 guard, for God's sake? Oh, Ducky. Who knows who needs 11 guard? Seriously. <laughs> you can really go off a guy, can't you? <laughs> Ducky has won three chalices, really. I, don't I know, think... I know. It's no, Wilterton hasn't won. Wilterton hasn't won. He's good enough to have won, but he hasn't. Yeah, and he is one of the top rated NAF, NAF players on the planet. Mm. He, you know, he's he's decent at the Blood Bowl. He doesn't need to have won a chalice for anyone to say that, looking at World Sitter. He's good. Yep. But, uh, but it doesn't matter how good you are. If you're bringing a toothpick and they've got a sword, <laughs> I know who my money's on. Yes, exactly. Yeah, you know, he, he is good at Blood Bowl. He will give it his all and he'll scrap and it'll be it'll be an interesting game. But yeah, obviously Ducky is going to be the favourite for that for the final. But yeah, good effort from Devic. You know, he, 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 it was really struggle for him. Like, you know, it's such good teams. He didn't get much luck with the removals and stuff. Um, but there you go. Congrats, World Sitar. Commiserations, Devac. Thank you very much. Fimea, Calcium and Purple Chest. Glorious. So yeah. it was a pleasure to be here, and I hope our viewers in Gambia have enjoyed this game, which has a lot of things happening in the game and in the booth. <laughs> Your leisure is my pleasure. <laughs> that is one way of putting it by me. Thanks for watching, everyone. Don't forget to leave a like and subscribe, and stay fantastic. <laughs>